and I really thought transitioning was going to fix everything. My period stopped, facial hair grew. Pretty soon, I was passing as male. At first, I was elated, but my mental health did not improve. I became more suicidal, more unstable, and the anxiety became debilitating. The testosterone was never questioned as a contributing factor to my increasing instability. I was in and out of mental hospitals six times while being affirmed as male and supported in my decision to transition by my doctors, psychiatrist, immediate family, and even church. I was also diagnosed with complex PTSD and OCD during this time. I desperately wanted top surgery and a hysterectomy but couldn't afford them. After a serious suicide attempt in February of 2018, I realized that just changing my appearance was not going to take away the pain. So I started working really hard in therapy but I still believed I was male. A year later in 2019, I had a life-changing encounter with Jesus and began to find deep healing and peace within myself. After nearly four years of being on testosterone, I decided to detransition and accept my womanhood. My mental health improved exponentially. I'm no longer in therapy, nor even on mental health medication. I have not been suicidal or hospitalized since stopping testosterone. Three years later, my menstrual cycle has still been irregular. I still have to shave my face daily and I struggle with hormonal acne. I'm truly grateful I never got surgery because now I'm happily married and 28 weeks pregnant. But if I had gotten surgeries that I so desperately wanted as a teenager, that would have stolen this future from me. So I'm asking the board to create a rule that makes it unethical for doctors to prescribe these hormone treatments for people under the age of 18 and surgeries under the age of 21. Thank you.